Once upon a time, in a quaint little town nestled between rolling hills and a serene river, there lived two individuals named Sarah and John. Both were well-respected members of their close-knit community, admired for their kindness, intelligence, and generosity. However, life had not been fair to them in matters of the heart. Sarah, with her warm brown eyes and infectious smile, had always dreamed of finding a love as passionate as the novels she devoured every evening. John, with his rugged charm and a heart full of compassion, had yearned for a love that would fill the void left by his tumultuous past. Fate had its own plans for Sarah and John. Their paths first crossed when a mutual friend introduced them at a local charity event. Both were successful in their own right, but they carried a sense of loneliness that weighed on their hearts. An instant connection bloomed between them as they shared stories of their dreams and disappointments. Over time, their friendship deepened, and it soon became clear that they could provide something each other desperately needed, a partner, a companion, someone to share life's burdens and joys. So, one warm summer evening, they made a decision that would forever change their lives. They decided to enter into a marriage of convenience, an arrangement based on friendship and support rather than passionate love. With the exchange of vows and rings in front of their closest friends and family, Sarah and John became husband and wife. The town was abuzz with curiosity and mixed opinions about their unconventional choice. Some believed it was a practical move, while others questioned the authenticity of their commitment. As the days turned into weeks and then months, Sarah and John's marriage proved to be as unconventional as it was genuine. They shared a comfortable home, managing the daily chores and responsibilities together. They supported each other's dreams, with John helping Sarah in her quest to open a small bookstore, and Sarah standing by John as he pursued his passion for woodworking. They even adopted a rescue dog, whose boundless energy and wagging tail brought joy to their lives. However, as time passed, they realized that while they cared deeply for each other, the passionate love they had yearned for remained elusive. It was in the quiet moments, as they sipped tea on the porch or shared a warm embrace before bedtime, that they admitted their hearts still longed for the spark of romantic love they had yet to find in each other. With open and honest conversations, they decided to make a pact, to seek love elsewhere without jeopardizing the bond they had built. They agreed to maintain their marriage of convenience and, in the meantime, actively explore the possibility of finding romantic love elsewhere. Sarah threw herself into her bookstore, creating a haven for book lovers from all around. Her shop soon became the heart of the town, and she reveled in the friendships she forged with her customers. John, on the other hand, poured his passion into his woodworking projects, crafting beautiful pieces of furniture that spoke to his soul. As time passed, both Sarah and John started dating, looking for that elusive spark they had always dreamed of. They went on countless dates, sharing stories, laughter, and the occasional heartache. Yet, through it all, they remained committed to their unconventional marriage, finding solace and support in each other's company. Years went by, and the town watched with bated breath, waiting to see if Sarah and John's quest for romantic love would bear fruit. But something unexpected happened. As Sarah and John continued to explore other relationships, they realized that the love they had for each other had evolved and deepened. It wasn't the passionate, fiery love they had read about in novels, but it was a love built on a foundation of trust, respect, and unwavering friendship. They had become each other's confidants, their partners in every sense of the word, and their most trusted allies. One day, as they sat together on their porch, sipping tea and watching the sun set over the river, they looked into each other's eyes and saw the depth of the love that had grown between them. In that moment, they understood that they had found what they had been searching for all along, a love that was steady and enduring. They decided to renew their vows in a heartfelt ceremony, surrounded by their loved ones. As they stood hand in hand, they shared their journey with the world, demonstrating that love could be found in the most unexpected places and could take on many forms. Sarah and John continued to live their lives, embracing their unique love story. Their bookstore thrived, and John's woodworking business flourished. 
Their love, though not the passionate blaze they had once yearned for, was a warm and comforting flame that illuminated their lives and the lives of those who knew them. And so, in that little town between rolling hills and a serene river, Sarah and John found their happily ever after, not in the passionate love of novels, but in a love that was born of friendship, understanding, and the wisdom to know that true love can be as unique as the individuals who share it.